I'm yeah. a quantum physicist, and we quantum physicists don't believe that the Big Bang happened once. That would violate the Heisenberg and Sergi principle. And that means that there could be multiple bangs happening all the time. Even as we speak today, universes are being created. And that fits the data. Uh, the inflationary universe is a quantum theory. So there's a certain finite probability that universes are being created all the time. And for me, this is actually rather aesthetically pleasing <laughs> because, you know, I was raised as a Presbyterian. But my parents uh, were Buddhists. And there's two diametrically opposed ideas about the universe. In Buddhism, there's only nirvana. There's no beginning. There's no end. There's only timelessness. But in Christianity, there is the instant when God said, let there be light. In other words, an instant of creation. So I've had these two mutually exclusive ideas in my head. And I now realize that it's possible to meld them into a single theory. Mm -hmm. Either the universe had a beginning or it didn't, right? Wrong. <laughs> you see, our universe had a beginning. Our universe had an instant where somebody might have said, let there be light. But there are other bubble universes out there in a bubble bath of universes. And that means that these universes are expanding into a dimension beyond our three-dimensional comprehension. In other words, hyperspace. In other words, 11-dimensional hyperspace. So nirvana would be this timeless 11-dimensional hyperspace where big bangs are happening all the time. So we can now combine two mutually exclusive theories of creation. And Stephen Hawking, for example, even in his last book, even said that this is an argument against the existence of God. <laughs> he said there is no God because there was not enough time for God to create the universe because the Big Bang happened in an instant of time. Therefore, there was no time available for him to create the universe. But you see, the multiverse idea means that there was a time before time. And there are multiple times. Each bubble has its own time. And so it means that there could actually be a universe before the beginning of our universe. So if you think of a bubble bath, when two bubbles collide, or when two bubbles fission to create a baby bubble, that's called the Big Bang. So the Big Bang is nothing but the collision of universes or the budding of universes.